trying to lose weight, there's a way to melt fat off faster than you can imagine. Do you know anyone who complains that even though they exercise very regularly than they naturally would, they still are not losing weight? This is because they haven't tackled the root of the problem. I lost over a hundred pounds changing the simplest things nobody talks about. Today I'm going to share eight easy steps that I use to get healthy and lose tremendous amounts of weight. The very first thing that I had to change before beginning my journey was my mindset. I had to change my mindset about weight loss, living healthy, and trying to reverse a diagnosis. I had to change the thought that reversing type 2 diabetes will be way too difficult or impossible to accomplish. I had to encourage myself with positive affirmations. Sometimes all you have to do is to look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself that you can accomplish what you think you cannot. Tell yourself, I can do this. I have to do this. This is going to be life changing for me and my loved one. I'm putting in the work so I can benefit later on. When you begin to change your mindset about healthy living, you start being conscious of overeating or eating just because. Ask yourself, do I really need those extra scoops of ice cream? Do I really need to eat this extra bread? Do I really need to slap on that extra butter? Is it necessary? Is it a need or is it a want? Once you've been able to distinguish between the two and realize that it is simply a want and not a need, you can do away with majority of the extras that we add onto our plate. In the same vein, changing your mindset about weight loss. To stop thinking weight loss only has to do with how much you exercise and not so much as to how much you eat will go a long way to accelerate your weight loss journey. Remember, weight loss is 80% eating right and 20% physical activity. The second thing will be get better and positive relationships. Associate yourself with better loving people, friends, family, and a community that will cheer you on and encourage you before and during your journey. Stay away and disassociate yourself from people who will discourage you, bad mouth your efforts or progress or tear you down. Also stay away from people who would mock the healthy lifestyle you're trying to adopt. Like Dennis Wakely said, you change the changeable you accept the unchangeable and you remove yourself from the unacceptable. Three, don't stress eat. I found myself doing that a lot. Anytime I would stress about one thing or another in different aspects of my life, I would eat comfort foods and snacks. It was unconscious at first, but once I noticed these habits and paid mind to them, I started being conscious. That is when I began making changes to stop stress eating. Stop being in denial of food indiscipline. It is a very uncomfortable topic, but it needs to be mentioned. Notice it, accept it, and try to change it. Acceptance is the key to change. It is okay to fail sometimes. It is okay to stumble and fall. It is okay to make mistakes. Anytime you fail or do not succeed at something, it actually takes you one step closer to success. Failure is the art of quitting and giving up. It is not how many times you fail, but how many times you get back up. Understand yourself, your body, and your relationship with food. The fifth point will be consciously start checking labels. Now, junk food is not just staring you in the face, but it is hidden in the things we least expect. If you're trying to lose weight, no matter what the situation may be, labels should be your best friend. The next point will be change your eating lifestyle and pattern. Work on planning a strategy you will be using for your weight loss journey. When I started, I knew planning my meals 
and storing them would be a game changer for me. But I did not have all the storage space to refrigerate all the food I planned on prepping. I had to choose to invest in myself to help me attain my goal. I saved and bought myself a very large refrigerator that I would be using to store all the meals that I planned on prepping. The investment may be a treadmill. The investment may be something else that would help make your life easier to be able to accomplish your goal. For some of you, it may be learning to cook. For others, it may be having to cook more at home. Whatever the situation is, whatever that would help you make that process, make the journey easier, you have to make that investment for yourself. Meal prepping is a great way to help prevent yourself from buying whatever you get your hands on when you're hungry. When you meal prep, the food is readily available and that way you are able to control what is going into your body at every given point in time. When you are forced to purchase food outside, what happens is you end up purchasing the simple carbohydrate foods and sugary drinks that you are trying to avoid. And the thing about simple carbohydrates and sugary foods is that the more you eat it, the more you crave it. When you meal prep, you have the opportunity to carry your food wherever it is that you go. I have a large family. And so meal prepping was one of the most difficult things I had to incorporate into my lifestyle. Fill your prep bowls with higher quality foods, possibly fiber rich and protein rich foods. I know I have said this so many times, but it really makes a lot of difference. God created our bodies to move. Incorporate movement in your everyday routines. For instance, if you go to the grocery store, instead of parking so close to the entrance of the grocery store consider parking farther away from the grocery store so you have a longer walking distance to the entrance of the store i know that sometimes we ladies have a habit of wearing uncomfortable shoes and because we are wearing uncomfortable shoes we want to park as close to the entrance of wherever that we are going as possible because we do not want to walk the longer distance but that does not help us get our activity in another example is instead of walking at a normal pace try walking at a faster pace or brisk walking incorporate whichever type of movement that would be appropriate and convenient to you the final point would be do well to stay hydrated drink more water half of your body weight in ounces. I hope this information has been very helpful to you. If it has, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, share, turn on the notification bell, leave me a comment, and until next time, remember to be beautiful, be bold, be true to yourself and to others, and always be you.